Welcome everybody, thanks for stopping in. I'm John Zadar, I am the host of On Top and Hot. Today we're focusing in on one particular company, Control Technologies, on the US OTC market, ticker KNRLF, and on the Canadian NEO market, ticker KNR. Now this is a company that is helping propel us into the future we want to have. They are working on that net zero emissions by 2050. This company builds smart buildings. It's a sector already doing over $300 billion a year and is most likely going to more than double by 2026. Let's take a closer look at Control Technologies. So we're going to start our initial due diligence on this stock over here at the otcmarkets.com website. I love this site. This site is updated every single day by FINRA and the SEC. You are going to save yourself a lot of time, folks, if you just start your research here. So this is October 11th. We are looking at ticker KNRLF, Control Technologies Core. This is a Canadian company in Ontario. Now they finished today just a little bit over 82 cents and just a smidge over 1% gains. They are on the middle tier of the OTC, the better tier. This is called the QB. It's better because you have to audit your financials to be here. This simply makes them more trustworthy, more transparent. They also have a verified profile and a transfer agent verified. I tell you in every video how relevant these are. There's a lot of important information behind these ticks that's being validated by an unbiased third party behind the scenes. We want to see these, so that looks great. And we got a bonus, they're penny stock exempt. This is really good, folks. This removes the risk from being a startup company. What it basically says is that you've got to be in business for at least three to five years with a clean record, all your filings up to date, and you have to have had millions of dollars in assets during that time period. This shows that you're responsible. It makes them a better investment. So what does this company do? Well, looking at their business description here, they tell us that Control Technologies Core is a leader in smart buildings and cities through the Internet of Things, the cloud, and software as a service technology. Control provides solutions and services to its customers to improve energy management, monitor continuous emissions, and accelerate the sustainability of all buildings. It's a great description but it doesn't really do justice to the company. Let's take a closer look at what they do. So we have jumped on over here to the website of Control Technologies to get more information, and they've got a lot of it here. And there's no way possible I can cover it all in this show. So I am highly suggesting that you come back here later and continue on with the DD. But in a nutshell, the company works with smart buildings. Whether that be new construction or retrofitting all of the old buildings, which there are a slew of. Fact of the matter is, buildings are one of the biggest culprits for wasting energy and creating greenhouse gases. In North America alone, buildings are wasting up to $60 billion worth of energy every single year. In addition to that, buildings account for up to 40% of the greenhouse gas emissions. Don't you think it's time to make our buildings smarter? Yeah, smarter is a good thing. By 2050, every building in the world will need to achieve the target goal of net zero energy use to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. Given that most buildings that will exist in the next 30 years already exist, they've already been built, the only way to fix them is to bring the technology to them and incorporate it. And that is exactly what this company is doing. Control plans to retrofit already built buildings into smart buildings. Buildings currently account for 40% of the greenhouse gas emissions. Traditional HVAC systems, which is your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, along with incandescent lighting and water systems, are wildly inefficient. They are doing their jobs in the worst ways possible. In fact, HVAC systems can account for 70% of all the energy being used in a building, and they are creating approximately 28% of those greenhouse gases. Now, Control uses artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, the cloud, uh, software 
software as a service to create all of this data to help these buildings, to help people that own these buildings. But they're doing it also to create more revenues. All of that data and all of the greenhouse gases that they're cutting down on, they can actually get paid for with carbon credits. Control strategy for monetizing the energy they save is to claim carbon credits and then sell them on the market. Who buys those carbon credits? The big companies that create a lot of greenhouse emissions. That is their punishment. These people that save on the emissions get tokens, if you will, carbon credits, and then they get to sell them to the companies making those gases. And they get lots of money for doing that. Now, I told you the company has been real busy, but not just making money, which we're going to talk about here in just a second, but making a difference in the world. You see all that information on the screen? Those are the equivalents of how much greenhouse gas emissions their technology has prevented from getting into the atmosphere. So they are making a difference. And all of that data is going to be used to cash in on carbon credits. Cha-ching! Now this is a real simple system to use. No matter how many buildings you have, how big they are, or where they're at, you're going to be able to monitor them and control them from one simple app on your phone. And every sector is going to be needing this. Doesn't matter if you're in multi-residential, institutional, hospitality, apartment schools, municipality, everybody is a part of this program. Now, you would think this would be a difficult task, but honestly, they say they can install this in one hour. They don't have to tear down walls or tear out your floor. And as soon as they do it, you're going to recognize a 30% savings on your energy bill immediately. So over the next two and a half years, you're going to get back your investment. So let's go take a look at the share structure and the finances. So let's take a look at some numbers for KNRLF. We're over here at their share structure page. Outstanding shares is just under 50 million at 48.8 and the float's pretty decent folks. We're down here at about 36 million. Now a number that is pretty relevant to a lot of investors is the market cap. They're running at about 40 million right now. Investors like to use this number to compare one company to another company, which is fine and dandy if everything is even Steven, but it usually isn't. For example, Control has a competitor called Phoebe AI, which pretty much does the same sort of work they do. They're running at a loss. They're not making as much money and the price of their stock is less than Control. And yet, their market cap is nearly double what Control's is. How is that possible? That's easy. It's just about math, folks. To figure out the market cap, all you got to do is take the price of the stock and you multiply it times the outstanding shares. Voila, you got yourself a market cap. Phoebe has three times as many shares as our company. So this is why their numbers look bigger, but they're not bigger. Matter of fact, let's take a look at some financials here. The true telltale sign of a successful company is no doubt the revenues, right? And this company has been kicking butt and taking names. At the end of last year, 2021, they did just over $45 million worth of business. We know it's millions because we've got to take those three zeros there and put them behind any of these numbers down here. Now compare that to 2020, where they did $9.6 million worth of business. What a jump and bump, folks. They went from $10 million to $45 million in one year. They're doing some serious business. Now, there's a lot of numbers we can bounce around to look at, so I brought them all over here to this one page. The last quarter, the company did $29 million worth of business, and so far this year, they have done about $55 million worth of business. That gives them almost 600% gains over last year, but that ain't nothing. Compare that to 2020, they are up over 6,500% in their revenues. What a jump, folks. Now, one of the best things about this company is they have more assets than liabilities. By $21 million, they have 58 in assets and 37 in liabilities. What this means is that even when the market is tough, Control is going to be able to make great returns. And they have no bad debt standing on the books. You can't ask for a whole lot more than that. So the company is doing really good with revenues. They're really picking up fast. They're catching some momentum and they're doing a lot of business. 
So we're gonna take a look at some current news here about control technology so that we can see what they're currently involved with and how the momentum is growing. The news here goes from October 12th today all the way back to August 5th. Today's news, control technology selected by leading property manager to deliver social housing energy savings and efficiency retrofit. Yesterday, they were selected by a cannabis company to do the same thing. I told you they are working with every sector and why not? This isn't optional. It is going to be an obligation for everybody. Better sooner than later done. August 31st, Control Technologies enters into a $50 million credit agreement with Schedule One Bank. Facilities provide revolver and acquisition financing. So they're not only making good money and have strong assets, they also have strong backing for whenever they need more money to grow. August 15th, the company announces their second quarter 2022 financial results of almost 600% year over year gains. Now think about this. Last year for the full 12 months, they did $45 million. So far this year in only six months, they've done $55 million. They are already $10 million ahead of last year's revenues and they still got six more months to go. I'm expecting a huge year. August 9th, Control Technology wins ESG and net zero emission engagement with New City Customer. This is their third public sector win for ESG and Control Carbon Platform. And the last piece of news we got here on August 5th, Control Technologies was selected by Ontario Municipality to deliver net zero emissions. This was another new customer win in the ESG and Control Carbon Platform. Folks, this company's got nowhere to go but up. The whole world is on this 2050 plan and every single building in America is gonna have to be worked on, retrofitted, whatever it will be. So there is lots of money to be made. So it doesn't matter if this company has competitors. One, two, five, ten. There are enough buildings out there. How many? God only knows how many buildings are in America. But there's enough for everybody to do really, really well. Let's go take a look at the chart for Control Technologies. So we're taking a quick glance at the charts for ticker KNRLF. We are looking at a one day, one year chart here. We got a high bubble back here in November of $2.50. And ever since then, she has been falling. As has most of the market though. I mean, most of the stocks are falling. Even our blue chip stocks right now are at low lows. They're great buying opportunities, but I don't think we're done falling, not quite yet. And this company, they too just had a low here a few days ago of about 78 cents. Now, when you look at the other charts coming in closer at the four hour chart here, you can see they are on a downtrend, but they've had a lot of volatility, a lot of breakthroughs on the 200, just not with a lot of success. And she is still on that downtrend. Now, personally, I think this is a great buy opportunity. I think right now would be a good time to get a starter position, maybe 20%. If you're getting into a stock for a long hold, anything can happen, up or down. And if it falls down, you'd like to be able to take advantage of that. And if you buy 20% now and it dips more, you can buy more at a better price and have a better price for when she starts to climb. But I really like this company. They're on the cusp. They're doing what we need to do and get done by 2050. And there's a ton of work to be done. And there's not a whole lot of companies out there doing this. So I like what they're doing. I like the business that's set up before them. I mean, think about all the buildings in America that need help. <laughs> all of them, right? So I think this is a great company to look at right now and get a starter position in. <laughs> Keep your eye on this company, folks, because I think it's going to be big. So there you go, Control Technologies, an up and coming company working with smart buildings. Now it honestly doesn't matter if the whole world is on this deadline of 2050, it is only prudent to make our buildings energy efficient, especially now with the cost of energy, electricity, gas, I mean it's going through the roof. Wouldn't a 30% savings be good? Absolutely. I think this company is going to do better and better as time goes on and that date gets closer. And we can't even guess how much they're going to make because we don't know how many buildings are in this country. But start doing the math and you can see how big it can get. And it's not as difficult as most people would presume.
So I like control technologies for a long hold. She's at a good buy price right now. Not everything, get yourself a small hold, watch the price. If it dips a little more, get yourself some more. And when it starts to climb, it's probably going to continue to climb. Control technologies, it's one I like a lot. Remember folks, the more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See ya.